what the field does. And now we have Boshiman Nidu of Canada. First attempt, 94 kilos. That looks pretty good. Well, Marie has a lot of experience. She's been to eight senior worlds, two junior worlds, two Olympics, and with technique like this. Yeah, she knows how important it is to lock in the opener, and she did beautifully there. Very nice lift. She opened she six worlds? Yeah. Oh, wow. Eight. I mean, she's been lifting a long time. Her first worlds was... Yeah, was she 2006, Santo Domingo, and that was a seniors, wasn't it? I was there. <laughs> it wasn't a great meet for me, but... Uh... Ask me how I know if it was a senior <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah, remember, we don't actually have a world championship the Olympic years. That's right. Um, so those years don't count. So that, that puts her, and makes sense, all the way back to 2006. Yep. When was your last world show? My last world championship, I participated in Thailand in 2000, 2007, Chiang Mai. All right, so now we have 95 kilos on the bar. And we will bring out our lifter from Uzbekistan, Amadoy Adaguzeva. First attempt. Hips up a little bit, kind of jumped forward a little bit, yeah. but made the lift. Made the lift. Looks like a strong, strong girl. Like you said, I saw it too, Sean. As soon as she came off the floor, a little tug over, but she's strong enough to get that barbell back to where she needs it. Yep. And she does it. I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say, um, you're, you were so great, Cheryl, that your numbers have not been surpassed yet. United States. You know what, Sean? That's why I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in fact, your numbers would hold up now. If you lifted in the Olympics now, you'd be in the hunt for a medal. All right, so now we have 96 kilos loaded. Yao Chi Ling. Great speed under the bar. Yeah, and that style that we sometimes see from Asian nation lifters that head down when they punch out. That's right, as a counterbalance, uh, she's coming up and getting that head through and the bar back as far back as she can. All right, so now we have 96 on the bar. Crystal and Garland of Canada. Good, good. Yeah, we noticed in the warm-up room where I did, she was she was kind of going forward, not yep. really finishing very well on those snatches, and uh, she gave it a good finish there and got it. Nice adjustment right there. Yes. See that? Right. All right. So she is on the board with 96 kilos, and it looks like it's going to move around a little bit. Everybody's sitting on, you know, these uh, automatic increases before we see. So now 97 is going to get called, and it looks like it's going to be Arimi Fuentes Zavala of Mexico. She was at the Universiati, Sean. Yes, she was. I actually do remember her. Snatched 101 there. She was in the 75 kilo category. Placed second overall. Let me test your memory. Can you think of who won? The 75s? Yeah. At the universities? 2016. Think about it while she comes out to make her opener. Won't leave you hanging forever. We will look it up at some point, if you don't remember. Man, I don't remember. 
All right, here is Garza. Saw it. She's got she's got one of those uh, or that sort of build where she's got nice short legs, very powerful, and when she sits into the full squat, she doesn't look like she's going very far because her limbs are so short. Um, but that's going to be advantageous, obviously lifting some big weights in the cleaner jerk, I imagine. Gotta be careful with that hair. This is the <laughs> second time I mentioned this over the rails. Well, second lift. Have you ever seen that being no bald? I know, but. I see it. There. I, I wonder if it might. I don't want to be the, the the official that makes that call. Me neither. It's, yeah. That Pandora's box. Yeah. Well, sure. Good yeah. point. We'll come back. To that. All right. So now, Ayumi Kamaya of Japan opened with a hundred in Ashgabat back in September. Here she is with ninety-eight. She hit the bottom and then sunk a little lower. What did you see there? I feel like she needs to just finish that pull a little bit better. She could have just extended maybe for a split second longer. Uh, she kind of just kind of hit the bottom a little too soon. Didn't complete the pull. Um, but it's a simple mistake. It's a common mistake. And she knows without a doubt what she just did. She's going to come back out and nail it. I agree, Cheryl. I think but a little bit more extension is going to give her uh, uh, her feet a chance to get back down faster and her arms to lock a little bit faster. Right, and right. A little bit more time to decelerate and, and stabilize. But like I was telling JP earlier this morning, that last warm-up, between the last warm-up and coming out on the stage, that barbell can feel completely different. And sometimes it just throws your timing off. I mean, you're trying to find your uh, your horizon line and keep right. your balance. And so I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry, but there's... Uh, okay, they let this clock run down a bit before they made the change on Kachanke. So go ahead, continue your thought. I was just going to say, the um, uh, even where you're looking in the audience prior to lifting uh, factors into your spatial awareness. So sometimes it's just, just a little different, and uh, sometimes you just need that first attempt to figure out what the heck's going on out here on the stage. Sean, what did you call that the other day, crossing through uh, into a new universe? Yeah, you just once you step through that, that threshold, it's just a different world. Completely. It's a different world. The energy changes, everything changes. And you and I suggested it as people who did not know. Cheryl has just verified it as somebody who does know. Right. Air is different. <laughs> I promise you. All right, so now we are back to Kamiya of Japan. Second attempt, 98 kilos. Atta girl. Yes. Beautiful lines. She's right. really pretty in the in that position. Nice and upright. Nice locked elbows. Looks Great. comfortable. I tell my lifters yes. I want them to be able to sit down there and read the New York Times. <laughs> I want them so comfortable. And there she is. That's how you do it. Yep. And she knows too. You see it in her face. She knows she's got the lift. And she just got to balance and stand straight up. Coach Miyagi on screen there. The legendary coach from Japan. And we now have 99 kilos loaded. For Boshiman Nadu of Canada. She snatched 98 at the Pan Ams earlier as, this as year. As a 69, though, right? Yes, I think so. She got under that nicely. Yeah, looked like it kicked away a little bit, I think. I was going to say the same thing, Sean. I think she just lost control of the bar. Really important to keep the bar as close as possible. Would you think that maybe she needs to get her arms involved a little bit sooner to kind of control that? Or what would right. you say to her? Keep the chest up. I was really hoping for that replay. Um, but yeah, I, th I think the assessment there is just keep the bar closer. 
All right, so now 99 kilos, four kilo jump for Amadoy. And her first attempt, her hips came up a little bit and she jumped forward, but still made it. Let's see if she makes that correction. Yeah, mm. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, yeah. A little same, sideways same too, right? Couldn't tell. Okay. But she got a lot going on. Right, right. The hips came up, and, and you know what, uh, Sean and JP, it looks like that's the way she snatches. Yes. Um, Living dangerously, though, with that. Right, right. That's a, There's a lot of inconsistency that she probably suffers from. Uh, hopefully she can regroup for the third attempt, though. Let's go. All right, so back to Garlem of Canada. That's a good snatch. That's a good snatch. A little recovery forward, yeah. but she pulled a little bit better. And two for two for Crystal and Garland. You know, it looked like it never actually got back in the slot, and she just held it there. Right. And as she comes up, it right there, it starts to come forward, but she holds it. Right. She really doesn't get that bar back very far, does she? Even when she's standing there, it kind of stays in that, right? It always looks a big forward, but she got it. Good enough. All right, that 99 kilos is going to stay on the bar for her country mate and teammate, Marive Oshiman Nadu, third attempt. Let's go. Yes. There you go. Good there adjustment. Go. Very good. Mark of a pro. She listened to you, Cheryl. Mm. <laughs> it's that's a wise decision, generally. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just like that broken clock, you know. Every once in a while, I get it. <laughs> So that will cap off a right. two for three series for Marie Eve Boshiman Nadeau of Canada. And now we have our lifter from Uzbekistan, Odoguzeva. Wow. Uh, two in a row, same way, right? Yeah, same mistake. And the thing about the lifting technique is it, it will work for however many kilos, but everybody has that threshold yes. where that technique can be cleaned up and maybe a little bit more efficiency so you can get that extra kilo on the barbell. You know, jump, we, see, we see great lifters jump forward and back. Uh, ideally, when you teach somebody lift, you want them not to jump forward and back to get their feet straight out, but jumping forward to yes. me is a, is a bigger problem. Much bigger, much bigger. We were talking about that this morning that uh, it, it, you know, with the jump back, I'll tolerate a little bit of jumping back. The idea is not to waste too much time traveling, especially laterally on the platform. Um, but as long as you're bringing the barbell with you, right. uh, sometimes you see lifters jump back and they're, they're literally sneaking out from under the bar, and that's when it's a bigger problem. I agree 100%. You have a, you have a little bit, of, a little bit of, of room to battle when you jump back, but in the front, it's just, it's lost. Right. All right, so speaking of technique, an interesting technique, here is Gail Neo Kachanke of France. I think I've seen her lift recently where she was doing powers. It might have been the Olympics. She did powers? Oh, I think you're correct. She snatched 102 in Rio. I think she's, she might be new to the sport and from track, is that? Patiente. Yeah, Longtemps, les appuis, épaules devant. Okay. Lourd. Oh, that's not power. I know. Holy moly. <laughs> but it was fast. I think I blinked you guys, and I missed what happened. That was fast and powerful, yes. and a great, great opening attempt. JP, I know who you're talking about. I just don't, I don't remember her name, but this isn't her. Okay. But this is a good opener with 100 kilos, and that's up near her heaviest opener ever. She did open with 105 in Houston. Let's see where the string takes her, and now we will go back 
Two hour lifter from Chinese Taipei. Yao Chi Ling. She was junior world champion at plus 75 back in 2012. She couldn't have been too much more than 75, I'd imagine. That's right. Wow. Very nice. Very Good. Nice. Just yep. like the first one. Yep. That's what you want to see. You want to eliminate the variable variables, and hopefully these lifts are going to look exactly the same no matter what weight is on the barbell, and that's the goal. And Sean, to button that up, she weighed 80 kilos when she wanted. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, one of those athletes that really benefited from uh, the weight class adjustments that happened recently. Um, quite small to be a super heavy. Yeah, as a kid, okay, but yeah, now the year of birth, 1993, she's in her 20s, and this seems like the right, you know, size for her. Okay, so now we are back to Garza of Mexico, opened successfully with 97. We now have 100 kilos. Two for two. Very Just as good. Just as good. She has snatched 105. It's just a nice movement, right? I know it was a little bit in front, maybe when she punched out, but overall. All right, so Ar Jenny Arthur has been introduced with 101, but we're hearing that she just took 99 in the back, so or loaded 99 in the back, so I don't think that Right, I can imagine that she's gonna she's gonna bump up, and she has. So she's done with her warm up. She's walking over to the holding area, and it looks like she moved to 102, which is about where she's been opening recently, right? Yes. And it was so, totally a thrill for me to meet her the other day for the first time because uh, she's a Georgia girl like I am. Oh, well, that's right. So Sean, earlier I asked you who won the 2016 Universiati. Currently on the bar at 101 kilos. Ah. Anshatek Mangshisan. She did a 235 kilo total there. Snatched 105, so here she is opening with 101. Not taking any chances, uh, you know, to Cheryl's point earlier. You know, every every lift's going to count here. Yeah, so far, seven lifters have opened thus far, eight, and six of them have made their openers. Beautiful lift. Very nice lift. Make that seven. Have <laughs> made their openers. That's, and that's going to be critical. Because that was an opener for her. What are your feelings, uh, Sean and JP, on that big extension where the face is looking at the ceiling and we got that, that arch? Um, it seems to work for some lifters, and some lifters you want to see some, a more vertical stance. I want to minimize any, har any un unnecessary horizontal displacement. I agree. It works for Mohammed Ehab. He does, he seems to do just fine with it. But I don't I wouldn't teach that. Right, right. Not as efficient. All right, so now we have Ann Garland. Keep it close. Aggressive off the floor. Oh. Couldn't hang on. Yeah. Couldn't hang on to that weight. A little bit to her left. And that left arm I don't think ever got to a full extension i don't think she ever had it locked out that's got to be close to her best because i've seen her lift a few times internationally 98. oh well okay and that so that would have been above her best yeah that symmetry is what we're after obviously but um as human beings we're not perfectly symmetrical uh you could see that she was a bit softer on her left side than her right side the entire time and it finally gave and with enough weight it's going to come you're going to bring it out right all right so now we have areme zavala One hundred two kilos. This is her first attempt, and this is a, 
a big opener. I don't know if I've ever seen a meet where she's opened with heavier than 95. 101, Pan Ams. So this was her heaviest opener ever, and it looks like she's going to be on the board with it. And now Jenny Arthur, 102, and it does look like she's going to take this. Chest out, aggressive. Let's go. Replay here. And right. Jen, Jenny's been out of competition for a while. She did lift in September at the American Open Series in, uh, in oh, Grand Rapids to get okay. the qualifying total to get here. She snatched 105. Big chest punch up. Kevin Doherty. Tight. Yeah. That's all right. It's okay. She got the jitters out. That happens. Look plenty, plenty strong, but the snatch is an inch forward, and yep. and all is lost. But uh, she's going to make the correction because that's not that's not heavy. It is that's not. not heavy for her. Yeah, and it looked like her her momentum just started taking her a little bit forward, and that's one where you just what forget it. You make oh, yeah. it, you repeat, but you just got to forget right, it, come right. back and make it. it you got to pretend like you got your opening attempt to do again and uh, shake it off. All right, so now 102 is going to stay on the bar as an automatic increase. Cheryl, when you would, when you would miss a lift at a meet like this, what would you tell yourself? Oftentimes, I'm focusing on what exactly I did incorrectly. I mean, these athletes have done thousands of repetitions. Sometimes you go out there and you make a stupid, silly mistake that you've been doing in training, and you know exactly uh, you have the tools in your to tool belt to make the correction, and I'm just giving myself reminders of what those items are and checking them off. Okay. All right, so Monk Johnston moved up after being introduced. So that means Jenny Arthur is following herself on a one minute clock. She's got to come right back out quickly for this. And in this case, I don't think that that's a bad thing. No, it's, it's not all. just, it doesn't, it doesn't waste any, it just doesn't. But not, especially with the authority that she just took that first attempt. Yes. But, like, and she has plenty of energy, plenty of strength for this. Big chest and punch. Push, push. Tight, tight, tight. Good job. There you go. There Good you job. Go. That is right. And she's moving well. I mean, 107 at the Olympics. It's not heavy, right? She needs a big finish on this third attempt she's going to have, and she needs to lock it down. A little it's just scoot perfect. back. A little scoot back yeah. with her feet, though, just a touch in that barbell. That's why she has to recover forward, but not much. Okay. She just got to be a little more patient, come straight up and straight down. So with that, she's in the hunt here. That will move her into second because she was the second person to snatch 102. I think she might sit back and wait a bit. You could figure anywhere between 105 and 107 would be a, a reasonable call. Depending on what happens. 107 here. is going to be tough for her, I think. Sit tight. We shall see. And now we have Dahomas. This is her first attempt. Wow. That was nice. Well, you don't win two junior world championships in a row. By not knowing how to snatch. Yep, that was, uh, I don't have much to say about that. Solid <laughs> opener. I mean, that was as That's, close to perfect as you can do. It yep. really is. You said she won junior worlds twice. Twice in a row. Well, there's a reason for that. And she's still a junior. 
Those were the days. <laughs> Here's Kachanke. 103 kilos. Wow. I dare say that was a bit better than her first attempt. Yeah. She, uh, she stayed on that, that vertical plane, no forward movement on that one. She nailed it. And she's so nice and long. That, uh, we mentioned this in the last session uh, with the uh, Brazilian lifter. It, you can really see what's going on because she's so long. Right, those levers are long. If, yep. I've seen some, some of the better snatches I've ever seen have long arms and long legs, so that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. But it catches up to you in the clean yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> now the clean jerk is another issue. All right, so now we have... Ayumi Kamiya of Japan. This look, this is her third attempt, 103 kilos, five kilo jump from her second attempt with 98 kilos. Oh, little hesitation off the floor there. So I'd like to see her move her feet a little faster, get get to that receiving position a little faster. But perfectly capable of making that. Right. Good good patience. She is a bit slow on that first pull, right. but she waits, she gets into the hip, and it allows her to get that nice pop, but uh, just not enough. All right, so now we have Yao Che Ling, Chinese Taipei, currently two for two, 96 and 100, both on the board, and a three kilo jump here that will move her into third if she's successful. And I like this play because she has a relatively big clean and jerk. Mm -hmm. So just stay in this thing where you think you need to be and let the clean and jerk sort it out. And she's given no indication that she's gonna miss this. I mean, those first two have been, been great. Oh. Ah. Right arm. There you go. I just had to open my mouth. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sean. Yeah. All right, so no lift. She will be credited with 100 kilos from her second attempt. And you got to think, as long as she's within eight, less than 10 kilos, let's call it that, of the leader in the snatch, that she can make things interesting later. And now we will go back to Macy Dehomez, who is going to move up. This is just her automatic increase with 104. So I think we're going to see Garza here on her third attempt. I think There's the change going in. And I think the call for author is going to be five. Uh, we'll see. Well, Jenny does have, I guess I would call it the disadvantage of being start number four, right. which means she's not fully in control. She doesn't have the... The, the flow of the competition in her favor, so she may have to take what she wants as opposed to wait to reacting to the others. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's got to make the first move. Exactly, and I think the lower star number is going to force her out as opposed to some of the others who are still left. But now we have Garza at 104, and this will move her into the lead. Even off the floor, right? You see the bar kind of drifting to her right? Yeah, I did notice that. And again, about that symmetry, it's always the goal. But these lifters are efficient. They're really, really at the top of their maxes. And all of those uh, all of those imbalances are going to show their, their ugly faces there, unfortunately. So no lift there. She will be credited with 100 kilos from her second attempt. And now we will bring back Jenny Arthur at 104 in similar game, Sean. Yep. Do what you think you can make and let the clean and jerk sort it out. So now here she is on her third attempt. Uh, Going to watch out for that little scoop back she does out from under the barbell. Hopefully uh, she'll correct that. This will be her best lift. Big chest, aggressive up there, punch. Hang on, hang on. That was a better snatch. Yes. 
Very nicely done by Jimmy. The crowd likes it, the referees like it. And, and, Kevin, and Kevin Doherty likes it. Kevin Doherty likes it. And that becomes an important lift, you know? Now, yeah. now the burden is on everyone else to snatch more than that. She's up the ante, if you will. Yeah, and this is a nice movement. A little step forward again. Doesn't matter. All you need to do is make the lift. And, and really where Jenny excels and where she looks great is from that power position into that overhead where she transitions. It's, it's just spot on. All right, so now Aremi Fuentes Zavala. Second attempt, 105 kilos. So we'll put her one kilo ahead of Jenny Arthur. Oh. Little movement. I think she might have gotten it though. Look at the look on her face. Okay. Oh, three white lights. Look though, I saw that right arm a little bit. Is that what you saw? A little bit of just wiggle. Just a touch. Just a little bit of wiggle. Yep. Ooh. Okay. And I, uh, I figured if she got a light, it would be from that center judge, but uh, he didn't seem too bothered. Nope. And it may seem like we're nitpicking, but we're really not. I mean, we've seen lifts that look like that, I, or close right. to it, get turned down, and, and you know, you both noticed it. So yeah. I've seen the jury in action here at, at this competition uh, more than I ever have, so there are no guarantees for sure. All right, so now we are back to Kachanke for her third and final attempt. And she's been dynamic yes. today. Maybe? Maybe just a touch. So she will be credited with 103 kilos from her second attempt. And let's see if the extension. Oh. I mean, she, it, the speed was the same. So it's not a strength issue. No. It's a little out of position. Yeah, that's it. I agree. She could have shifted back and gotten into the hip a little bit, a little bit more efficiently. But it looked like it maybe came in a little low. Yeah. Yeah. So here's Monk Johnston on set seg of Mongolia. She was eighth in Rio, snatched 105, didn't take a third attempt. No, I'm sorry. That was at the Junior Worlds. In Rio, she snatched 106 on her second attempt. So here she is again on the second attempt with 106. Be interested to see that replay. It's like kind of she rough. threw herself forward underneath instead of standing upright to get under. Right. Got to keep the chest up while you're dropping yes. under the barbell. Um, the tendency is, especially on the heavy ones, to pull and dive. Right. And All right. So that. we're down to our final four lifts that don't belong to Lydia Valentin. So it looks like she's going to be following herself. And it also looks like any miss here could could be costly mm -hmm. in terms of the medal stand. So here is Nacy de Homes, 106, second attempt. Yeah, I mean, just I nailed it. Clinic and technique. That's right. It's exactly how you want to snatch. And again, as the weight gets heavier on the barbell, you want them to all look the same, no matter what. And she is doing that. And without the actual physical plates on the bar, that looks exactly like her opening attempt. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what she wants. All right. So now we go back to. Monk Johnston on Chiseg. And with 106, she's got a choice to make here. If she takes the 106, she will be in second. Or she can move up a kilo and play for the lead, but it would put Zavala on the bar. And that's the game that's going to get played here. Because if you miss an attempt, you basically miss out on the medal stand. If you make an attempt, you, you know, 
any, if anybody else misses, they're out, right? So these last three lifts, these last three lifters, again, not including Lydia, are all on 107 right now, and you're going to see the waterfall of numbers. If Zavala makes this, the next lifter, the homies, will take 108, and then Monk Johnson will take 109, based. So now Barrera could hold on a one kilo increase if she wants. Or if she moves up, the Mongolian will move up again as well. Right. And I would do that because uh, Monk Johnson is coming off a miss. And Barrera is on an automatic increase. And that is what she's done. So she has moved. Oh, no, order of lifting was in Barrera's favor. So Monk Johnson is the lifter. And she will come out to make this if successful it will move her in the lead and this is now the second class in a row sean where we're going to see two medalists in the snatch or at least two medalists that are juniors yes it's great for weightlifting great for the future if successful she's in first will likely hold up for a silver if she misses she will be fifth Goodness. What a great <laughs> got left. It. Well, she is successful, and that will be good for a medal. She got it. it. It does look like a max effort, but she got it. Fell into the slot. She locked it down. She stayed balanced and stood right up at the barbell. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There you go. That was cool. Yeah. Great look. All right, so now, Macy DeHomes, 108 kilos, and what I think will happen is. Well, Lydia could take the 110. It's not that far away, but it, there's a possibility that while Dahomas is on the bar here, yeah, she'll lower it to 109. No reason to take 110. No. Not if 109 will win, right? Right. So here's Dahomas' third attempt. If successful, she will color up on the podium for the snatch. Currently sitting in second. Wow. So that is a guaranteed wow. silver. Perfect. Three perfect snatches. Yes. Yes, indeed. Let's just look at this again. That just made me happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice, you know? <laughs> Music to your eyes. All right, so we are down to our final lifter, and she wants to open with 110, and that is, you know, well within her her prerogative yeah and, and for her it actually is a little bit low right we've seen her open as heavy as 117 so here is lydia valentin 2016 bronze medalist she took this in the back so she's already done really? 110 once it's interesting I bet she could power snatch this if she had she to. She did power 100 earlier this week. Mm -hmm. I believe that was actually a power snap. I, I mean, I don't. I think she got about parallel. I don't. I don't know. It happened too quickly. I didn't see it. And there's your world champion in the snatch. So I don't think the records are in danger today, but uh, she can put some distance between her and the rest of the field and have a very easy time in the clean and jerk. Yeah, and, and this is almost routine for Lydia. I mean, over the years, I think her best ever is 124. It's a couple of years since she's done that, but it is her best. Yeah, that's what she wants to do. She wants to be confident, add weight to the barbell, but she also wants to add to, uh, add to that lead so she doesn't have to come out with a bigger clean and jerk when maybe she wasn't planning on it originally. And this is the part where we're down to our final attempt, two attempts. They're both hers, and 
you have your automatic increase and your declaration. So she can actually make two more changes. So 115 is the weight that's going to be called. They can tick off, um, you know, a full minute here if they want to. And now that one, if 115 starts, that's what you have signed off there. And you see she has two more changes. So that means 115 is her declaration, right? So with that running, it doesn't matter. She's not even well, wasting any but time. to your point, I mean, she's opened at 117 yeah. before. So this is not even an open. And the snatch, the expenditure of energy is quite low. Yes. So she's, she's not after that extra rest time. Two for two. I wouldn't be surprised if she passes on this, but. Well, you got to you gotta respect the clean and jerk ability of the competition, but. I mean. Yeah, but, you know. And she just looks like she's in the shape. Not, maybe not the shape of her life, because we know that she have, have, has lifted more, but she's clearly in top form for the moment, meaning that she can make whatever I think she touches. Even if it's not lifetime bests, we know it doesn't have to be. Right. But if you've got the ability to separate yourself from the field, and she doesn't have the look on her face if somebody's going to pass at the No, moment. she's not going to pass. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she goes after those 20. Yeah, I imagine that that, that, that is a pretty respectable uh, So we've got attempt. an 18 declaration, two-minute clock running. She's going to bump it one more time. Maybe 20. 20 seems reasonable. Yeah. That would be a, a full five kilo jump. She, oh, she jumped five kilos from her first to her second. Maybe she'll full snatch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes! if you recall, she was in Houston. Well, technically, this would be her 11th World Championships, but if you recall, she withdrew before the competition started. She got hurt in the warm-up, I'm sorry, in the um, training hall, I think, in 2015, didn't compete. All right, 18's the number. 118's the number. Third attempt, Lydia Valentin. This will give her a full 10 kilo lead over the silver medalist. Beautiful. Good lift for Lydia Valentin. <laughs> and for all of her accomplishments and all that she's done, she has never been a world champion, and she is now oh. halfway to the bank. I didn't realize that. That is right. So Lydia Valentin has brought us into the break with this very smooth 118 kilos. And, you know, You've been talking about technique and making each rep look the same. Oh, there you go. And that's why they're at the top of the field. It's for exactly that reason. Their consistency, their dependability, and they know the job they have to do, and they're doing it. There's McJohnston Anksheshek. She is our silver medalist. Excuse me, bronze medalist with a 106. Lydia, we just saw a snatch a gold medal. 118 kilos, three for three for her. Yeah. 
not much shock on that one. Has she won, is this her first world championship in at all, or has she won a world championship medal in a snatch or a clean? She's track? been on the medal stand before. She was bronze in, in Poland back in 2013. She's never been world champion. In any? I, okay. Yeah. Oh, in any discipline? No, in she's never won a gold. Okay. Yeah. That's her first gold medal at a world championships. Uh, but I'm thinking of specifically total. Right. And uh, she's been bronze once. So here are our results in the women 75 kilo snatch competition. You see Jenny Arthur in fifth with a 104 kilo third attempt effort. And as far as the medals go, I mean, there's not a whole lot of separation in this top six here. You got to think any one of them can get into into play here in the clean and jerk. Uh, there's always changes. There's always gaming with the declaration. So it's tough to say how it will look, but for now, they're pretty well packed together. They are. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. And again, at the beginning of this competition, it's all about, uh, we said it's all about making lifts, and that's not going to be any exception for the clean and jerks. If you'd like to see your best, your favorite lifters as well as their best performances, check out the IWF on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at IWF NET. And we will step away for a few moments while we are in the break for the clean and jerk. And we'll be back. We'll be back in just a bit. When kids get really excited about my children's books, that's the best reaction. I know things about great white sharks. What's great about Paint 3D, it's exciting to see a shark come to life and come off the page. With the Windows 10 PC, to be able to draw right on the screen and create something three-dimensional is amazing. It's exciting to turn it and light it and have these different effects. With my Mac, I can't do that. When you see that the work creates a feeling in a kid, it feels great. And it's addictive. You want to keep doing it, you know? Hi. Well, honey, I said sweet potatoes. Yes, you did. I forgot the shrimp. Visit your local Infinity retailer during our winter sales event. In the 75 kilo category here at the Anaheim Convention Center for the last session of today, day five of lifting at the 2017 World Championships, we have 117 kilos on the bar. The lifter is Ayumi Kamiya. Not a bad attempt there. Good lift. Good lift to start us off. What's that, Sean? What you see? I'm just saying, uh, on a, some of the Japanese lifters, they're really slow off the floor. So it seems to be intentional. And they just really just kind of speed up after the explosion. Very, very measured. Right, right. And I encourage my athletes to be controlled from the floor. Yes. you got to get that bar into your wheelhouse, into the hip, because that's yes. where all the action starts. Absolutely. No, no necessary direct correlation between how fast it's coming from the floor and whether or not it's successful no. at all. Four big red plates, please. No, I think you're right. It, you know, it's, it's better, it's more important to get the bar in the right spot than it is to get the bar quickly up there in the wrong spot. Right, right. Beginners have a tendency, especially strong, your stronger guys who want to try out weightlifting for the first time. Uh, they're thinking the faster they're moving from the bar, they're just relying on the momentum they right. create instead of uh, where it is in space, actually. And I find very often the faster, if you try to rush it, then, then the timing, it's hard to get that the right timing in the explosion. Right. All right, so it looks like we have moved all the way up to 120 kilos. And that will bring out Omadoy Ota Guzueva of Uzbekistan. 
120 kilos is exactly what she opened with at her last competition in September. I keep forgetting in Ashgabat. Is that, was that the Asian indoor martial arts? Yes. Match? Yes, it was. Yeah. And she had an issue of getting those hips up and jumping forward on the snatch. And uh, the trend continues. Very similar in the paint. And she's got it Initi initiating the jerk from the fingertips. You notice most athletes have a full grip on the bar in the right into the meat of their palm. She actually initiates the jerk uh, with the bar in her fingertips, and that's that's a lot of extra movement. Uh, but she made it work for that jerk. Let's take a look at that right here. Yeah, and you can even see the transition yeah. of her hands there. That's Boy, you're just living on the edge That, there. that is <laughs> living dangerously for sure. Yeah. But she's strong. Yeah, yes. We have to be to lift that way. Right. Here's Boshevin. They do. Her first attempt, 121 kilos. She opened with 23 in July at the Pan Ams. Made it. That's a nice clean mm -hmm. thing. Wow, yes. great lift. Great. I just love the way that looks all around. Mm -hmm. Very nicely done. One for one for Marie Eve Bojeman Nadu of Canada. And you got to think you'll see. Well, she did 130 at the Pan Ams. I don't know if she'll get there, but certainly upper 20s. I love the way she keeps her whole hand on the bar the, throughout the lift. You're really controlling it and placing it right on into the right spot instead of getting it on those fingertips. Right. Uh, you and to lift max efforts, you want to minimize any adjustments you have to make later. That Sometimes just keeping your hands in the same spot is uh, the best way to go. That's how we teach it. We teach it hand, no move, no hand movement. So here's Camilla. This is her second attempt, 121 kilos, four kilo jump from her opener. A lot of weight on the front foot in the split. Mm -hmm. um, and some athletes I know sort of train that way and they don't necessarily try to eliminate that issue, but I prefer 50-50. 50% of the weight on the front foot, 50 on the back. Uh, but she's fast enough and she popped it hard enough that it, it doesn't really matter. I'm with you 100% on that. All right, so it looks like Coach Miyagi is riding in the change and that change because what she has to do... Um, Excuse me, that was the de declaration. Well, that's all right. There's the change, all right. There go. we go. There we go, yeah, a lot of, a lot of jockeying around here. Go ahead, Just put your thought say, there, Cheryl. Yeah, when she steps that front foot forward and all the weight is there, she's gonna have to recover for it every time. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's the, uh, therein lies the problem. All right, so now we have 123 kilos for the first attempt of Alejandra Garza of Mexico. Snatched 100 on her second attempt. We're early in this thing, but if successful, this will put her into the lead. But it should be good. And you can actually see uh, Go the ahead. shoulder, uh, the musculature she has in her shoulder. It's very strong. And that's probably as a result of kind of having the bar forward right. most of the time. I mean, she's got to be strong to hold the barbell in that position. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, even in the snatch, it's a little bit forward, too. 
So yeah, I think you're right. You have you, your body's gonna gonna adapt and build muscle in places to keep the weight up there. All right. So here's Crystal and Garland of Canada. This is her first attempt. 123 kilos. From what I can tell, this is the heaviest she's ever opened in a meet. Push. Straight dip. Should be a good lift there. Good. Again, a touch forward on the jerk, but um, but pretty easy. Gosh, it looks it looked light enough, that's for sure. And her coach, you can see her coach there just motion to her to put the barbell back into place. And by that, he means right here in the punch out. Far just right. a go. Got to get that right. The coach gave exactly the right uh, feedback. And Lydia doesn't seem to have a care in the world right now. No, and she's got she's a bunch of time, it. too. It'll be a little while before we see her. I mean, she, she's still putting on her thumb tape. <laughs> <laughs> she can go back and put on her makeup. That's true. It'll be a while. All right, here's... Oh, the the wow. Oh, All right, shout better. better. Sure. All right, good lift there for Omadoy Odegozueva. It, it didn't get back right away, but she got it back. She did. You know, it was very quick. By the way, it, it looks like she's, you know, technically jumping forward here and, and fighting through these. She makes lifts. If you look at her, her competition history, you look at what she's doing right now. I mean, she's. She did go one for three in the snatch, but she's now two for two in the clean and jerk in like almost 10, call it eight major competitions. She's missed a total of four lifts oh. before today. So, uh, you know what I mean? She's she's living with a unique style of technique, but she gets it done. Well, she's, she's, she's lifting within herself. Yeah. All right, so we are back to Kamiya. This is her third and final attempt. If successful, she will be three for three in the clean and jerk. 124 kilos is the weight on the bar. This will be the most she's ever done. Yeah, and I think you commented earlier, Sean, about wanting to see her feet move a bit faster. Yeah. I think that's exactly what happened there. They got stuck to the floor, and she was not in the right receiving position. Yep. You know, as far as technique goes, uh, I, I great comment by uh, uh, Ivan Abajayev, the the, uh, the former Bulgarian coach. Uh, the coach came up to him after a competition and said, uh, Coach Abajayev, do you think if your lifter's technique was any better, he would lift more weight? He said, my, my lifter's technique is fine. He's the world champion. So, <laughs> there you go. So I guess when it comes down to it, at the end of the day. He's winning know. those medals. <laughs> really? And in fairness, we're sort of weightlifting nerds. We're, we're looking at the the little things that yes. we see. A good lift is a good lift, and I'll take white lights over, you know, that's what it's all about. So here's Bosham and they do. Great technical efficiency out of her. Back for her Back second attempt, 126 kilos. Well, she's really improved. I tell you, I, I remember seeing her again. I've seen her at, at, at international meets as well, and she looks better. That was a good lift by majority decision, and by better, technically. Technically better, just more more rigid. So maybe the, the increase in body weight has really helped her. Right. Just more solid. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we're going to go to Garza for her second attempt. Three kilo jump. Up, oh, there's going to be a move there, so. There's a technical stop right now. 
have they called a stop? They're calling a stop, and they are asking for the technical controller, the TC, to uh, go to the jury's table. So I don't think this is a question about the integrity of the lift. It might be something else going on. Yeah, they uh, nope. They are calling the referees back. I did see the the, the right elbow, but it, it really was very very minor. Um, oh, I'd be upset. I I would be. That's yeah, those little wobbles. I mean, oh. you know, but we know how strict it is. And, and Cheryl, you and I actually saw a lift earlier today in the 94B where the jury asked to speak I would with the officials, and they did not overturn the attempt, which is right different, right. unique. But in this case, they you know they're they're arguing their case, or they're the referees that is, are explaining why they've made the choice to white light it the two that did go ahead and do it and we'll hear what the jury thinks of Most that of in a second, second attempt, 126 kilos is so they have reversed no it lift. as a press out and jury, no. now uh, now we'll see if she decides to go up no um, it's possible it is and this is a, a spot where and we'll attempt. take a look at this one more time and you know Garza. It's, uh, she just could have been a bit a bit faster and a bit punchier with sure. the elbow, but uh, but a clear again, bend I, and rebend of the elbow. Right, I, I would have given her the white light. I'm um, with you personally, and I'm the official here, so I understand what they did. No. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I do think that that's let, let's call that very strict. You understand why it happened, um, and to you know continue the conversation there. If in this spot, Boschman to do Alex to go up, I, I could justify that. You know, I mean, that was a lift that was well within her. And if that was a world record attempt, would you have turned it down? I hope not. I mean, so then that's, that's the standard question. That's the standard that I look at. You know, if that, if but that that's me personally, and yeah, I, I, I hear you. So, uh, as it turns out, Boschman Nadu has in fact moved up. And by the way, the referees did not turn it down. This was a jury decision. Right. Um, Nadu Boschman Nadu has moved up to 128 kilos, so that will put 127 on the bar for Nacy De Homes. And she looks like she's putting, you know, she's walking toward the ready area, but she's not interested in this 127. But it looks like. So they're probably going to write in a change. And there it is. So now Alejandra Garza is the lifter, 127 kilos. I got to be nice to the officials. I still have a lifter lifting tomorrow. So <laughs> I, 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 I better be nice. Hand out cigars and stuff. <laughs> we can just blame Cheryl. It's all right. <laughs> So at some point, that weight's going to get so heavy that she's not going to be able to pull it back with her arms anymore. Got to focus on the overhead position. I think we're at that point. I mean, her, you know, it's funny. Her pull and the clean is beautiful. It's nice and vertical, nice and straight. She just not the same in the jerk. And uh, as to your point, JP, you do notice the barbell is a little uneven. She, she is standing with the barbell uh, much lower on the right side. All right, so now we go to the third attempt of Omadoy. Oda Guzueva of Uzbekistan. Nice this is a, this is a so curious. So if strong. you see the recovery here, take a look. Good lift. I appreciate, I think, the referees here who are holding to their guns. They're calling it without worrying about the jury over their shoulder. And it may not be conventional. But it gets it, gets it, it gets done. Job done. She's just tough. Good for her. And that will close out a three for three series and a 224 kilo total. 222 kilo total for 
Oda Kuzueva. All right, and we are back now with this 127 for the third attempt of Alejandra Garza. I don't think she's going to have any trouble with this clean. No. Oh, goodness. That's Both a surprise. It is. I was really expecting her to make that clean and uh, make the correction overhead, but no lift on her third and final attempt. That will close out her day with a 223 kilo total. And I think the coach made the exact uh, right observation. The elbows dropped. If she, had, if she drove her elbows up, she would have been able to stand up without, without a cross slide. A little bit of momentum. Yeah. All right, so now we have Orimi Fuentes Zavala for her first attempt, 128 kilos. Zavala <laughs> has opened as big as 130, but earlier this year at the Universiati, she made 127 on an opening attempt. Beautiful. That's a great lift. Good great start. Lift. She adjusts wider for the jerk. Um, very, very nicely. She's got a really, really nice uh, rack position with the barbell on her chest. It doesn't bother her at all to remove her hands from the barbell and just slide them right on out. You see that a lot from the Colombians. Uh, uh, she's had a really nice rhythm to her lift overall. Yeah, I'd agree. And now what we're seeing is 128 kilos looks like is being introduced for Macy de Homes. She was the silver medalist in the snatch three for three. Closed it out with a 108 kilo effort. And now she's opening here with 128 kilos in the clean and jerk. Her best is 135. I think she's going to be a star in this weight class in the, in the coming years. Well, she's already an Olympian. She's already a top eight finishing Olympian. She yeah. did 135 in Rio, and the cadence of that lift and the, you know, the approach, you're right. I also like to see lifters who look like they're just having a good time. <laughs> you know what I mean? She well, looks like she's having well, a good time. Well, then let's just go to South America. <laughs> When it's easy for when it's easy like that, it, it, it's it's easy to have a good time. That's true. She had a great day in the snatch. All right, so we are seeing Yao Chiling for the first time. Very good. Solid. Good lift. It didn't affect the lift at all, but did you notice on the jerk her grip? So off. Yeah. And it's interesting in that it didn't seem to affect the lift at all. But take a look at this. You can sort of tell her left hand is out a little bit wider. Again, still a good lift, no doubt about it. And it could be an asymmetry she actually trains with because she does it often, and her body is simply compensated for yeah, that. Yeah, you uh, never know. She will have more kilos on the left side if the left hand's wider, but doesn't seem to bother her at all. Okay, so here is Crystal and Garlam of Canada, second attempt, five kilo jump. Pushing it right out forward. I see Sean not, nodding his head yes. Yes, yes. 
You just got to finish that drive and go vertical with that barbell. Get your chin out of the way, get your face out of the way, <laughs> open up the chest and send the barbell up, not out. Good uh, whip. Good whip on the bar. Yeah, the dip was dip was nice. Yeah. I wonder if her, I haven't seen her feet, but I don't know if her footwork is off a little bit sometimes if that if that front foot hits first and pushes you out from the bar or, or is she pushing it with her arms in front? It's tough to tell from the angle we had. All right, so here is Marie Eve Beauchemin Nadu, the victim of a jury overturn with 126 kilos on her second attempt. She's moved up to 128. If she makes this, she will finish the day with a 227 kilo total. hard and lock this out punch like that. there you go that oh girl, that she, was great she wasn't gonna let that happen twice that was a great <laughs> lift good, uh, good jerkers make me happy yeah. John and jp they just make me happy all right so a 227 kilo day and you especially like to see it after a grind out of a clean like that right and just such a good movement. Good nice, position. nice even spread front and back foot. Mm -hmm. So here is Crystal and Garland, her country mate and teammate with that same 128 kilos, third attempt. Just get the bar back. All right. That's better. Yeah. That's better. She manages to get it back. Just, Just enough. enough. <laughs> yeah. And with that, she will finish the day with 227 kilos, which actually moves her behind Boshaman Nadu. And I think this is a big PR for her, too. Yeah, she seems pretty happy with it that. It looks like it, yeah. 225. Yeah, 225 on a six for six day at the Canada Championship. So let's improve upon that on the world stage. That speaks to you as well, Cheryl. It does. Uh, if I was if I was lifting lifts in the gym, I knew I was good for five, ten plus more kilos in the uh, in the competition situation. So a very big moment here for Jenny Arthur, and I'll tell you why. The bronze medalist Mook Johnston Anchitek is out of the competition. She has declined her clean and jerks, so she has withdrawn. That's a big deal. Jenny Arthur, 130 opener. This will give her a 234 kilo total. Decent. She's gonna crush it. Huh? She's had some issues in the jerk in the past, so let's Strong. See she can overcome them. Up, up. up. Let's go. Heels and legs. Job. Nicely done. Want, want to see that kind of opener, especially for what these big cleaner jerks are going to mean in a couple minutes. Good lift for Jenny Arthur here. This is the first attempt. Lydia Valentin Perez, Spain. You see the hands up in the background? <laughs> All right, so now here is Lydia Valentin at 130. And with a 10 kilo lead, Coming from the snatch competition, you have to think that this will be a workmanlike opener. Just get it done and sit back in case anybody has something in them unexpected. This will give her a 248 kilo total. Hey! Probably an early entrance. A little, out a little sooner than I expected.
Well, that could be a, fir a first attempt, but the lift that ultimately wins her her first ever world championships. Yeah, very conservative move, but she's trying to lock into that total because you can get a medal in the snatch, a medal in the clean and jerk, but that total medal makes you the world champion. Is that a little bit wider of a grip than I think we've seen before in the past? Not sure. Not sure. All right, so now 131 is the weight for Gael Nayo Kachanke of France. Good lift at 131 kilos, and there's a lot going on here. Yeah, she gets a little bit of air time in that clean. She does. She gets a lot of lift from the floor, a little bit of a donkey kick, as yeah. call it. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I, I get a bit nervous when I see athletes standing for a long time with yes. the bar on the chest. But there are that some people who fast. just do it. It's amazing how there are some people who could just do it, but yeah. I want that thing off me as fast <laughs> as possible. <laughs> All right, so here's Arimi Fuentes Zavala. This is her second attempt, 131 kilos. She's got it. Good lift. Two for two for Zavala. And with that, she, the cadence of that is. She's got a really, really tight uh, second pull in the clean. You can see there's no inches wasted as the barbell comes up and just lands right on her chest. No crashing, very fast. And with that, she has a 236 kilo total. One attempt left currently has her sitting in third. You gotta think a few made attempts here will move her out of the medal picture. Um, 131 here for... I think 133 is gonna be the number for, for Jenny. Well, let's see that in a bit. Right now, everybody is close to it. Nobody has elected more than 132. Uh, we have Yao Che Ling on the bar, and she may have a little too much ground to make up. Yeah. This will move her into sixth if she's successful only in the total. Only 100 in the snatch, and so she's got some distance. No. It's not enough. She's got another attempt, and she will have some time. The way that looked, though, I, it's... She's, well, actually, she won't. They're, they're, here's Arthur, this is an automatic increase, yeah, this will change, right and then Biddy is on an automatic increase, that'll change. They're gonna put her right back out. But before, you know, this time it's not one, but two lifters, and by the time these changes come in, it's probably a net zero effect. She'll have the same amount of time. But the changes have to happen. Right. So this isn't so much of a strategy. Oh, there they are, they're in already. One minute clock is running. Now, she didn't expend a ton of energy, well, from the floor and everything she did, but, but she wasn't fighting through, standing up with a barbell, so she may be okay to come right back out here and do this. I agree. She's a lifter who's done 136. So I don't, I'm not sure if that one got away from her or, or what, but we shall find out if she can turn it around here quickly. 131 on the bar, third attempt. Yao Che Ling, Chinese Taipei. She's got to get aggressive with this. If successful, this will give her a 231 kilo total. Over into sixth. That's better. Oh, oh man. 
no drive, just kind of a stand up and drop. Right, sitting down in the full squat with the bar on the chest from that pause and then having to stand up, that, that really takes it out of you right there. All right, so no lift for Yao Chailing. She got real deep into that split and it probably felt as if she was squatting again and just <laughs> didn't have the leg strength to maintain that, that and, position. And now we have Nacy Dehome is out for her second attempt at 132. Now she was the silver medalist in the snatch. But seeing her give away or, or use another attempt here, it will put her at a 240 total, but it'll give some options to the field. Mm -hmm. She won't be just lying in wait, though, on that last attempt. This is going to be a, a, a punch a button lift. It could be either way. All three are good, and let's see if this holds. And what she does there, I think, in the dip in the drive was fine. She kind of just goes down and loses her integrity. She's got to keep the chest up. She's got to maintain that, that nice posture and drop right under the bar. And she doesn't really quite do that. A little forward there, see that? Jury's talking a little bit, but. You know, and, and for the purposes of consistency, and if you have to say it, and I think you do, if they're gonna let this pass, then I think Boshiman Nadu got robbed on 126. I have no comment, JP. I'll, I'll take that as your agreement. Plenty of time, girl. You look great. All right, so now here's Jenny Arthur. Three kilo jump, 133 kilo total. If successful, that will move her into third place with a 237 total and an attempt to go. Oh, second place. Third in the total, first in the clean and jerk, if successful. Strong. Legs, heels. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, squeeze. That a girl. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hang on. <laughs> that will work. Good lift. That will hang on, but I think the correction she's going to have to make in the jerk for the next big attempt is to keep the chest up. When she dips and drives, you see the barbell slide a little bit. Very nice clean, though. The barbell's going to slide just a touch, and it doesn't take much. I left it out forward, but she uh, she's able to hang on tight because she's strong. She is strong. We got a little bit of conferring from the jury. So they're talking to the referees about Jenny Arthur's attempt here, and struggle not to be critical on this especially after the attempt that just passed before it. And, you know, there, there's a lot of jury involvement in this session. I mean, there's a lot of shoulder movement. I mean, does the elbow stay straight, perfectly straight? They're wobbling, they move a little bit. But is, is that an attempt that you take away from the athlete when... I don't think it's fair to Arthur if they take this away and not the prior attempt, but it's too late on the prior attempt that's done. Right, it's but too late. This is just not... That big a deal. No lift. That is costly. Sure is. So the jury has overturned it for a press out. That is a costly decision. Well, I like to see her earbuds in Jenny right now. She's just got to literally not even let it bother her. And I like the zone that she's in now, and that's exactly what her coach is telling her, just forget about it. We'll handle what, what's on the bar. You just make the next lift. And that, she, she doesn't have to make a decision just yet. Because what this is going to do is Dahomis is going to get called. She'll move up. Um, I, I got to be inclined to think that Jenny will not 
take 233 or 133. So we see Mike Catone going to the table now, and, and 230, 134 is what they'll write in. And that, Number four. yeah, and, and that is what they've done. So they've declared 134 here, and they can change that two more times if they want. And I think for Arthur, who is in play for a medal here, I think you per, you you move on as if that lift was was good. Yes, I agree. This is it's the World Championships. You have, to. and it's also a third attempt, and that lift wouldn't have won you a medal anyway. So right. you just move past it. Absolutely, the effort was there. Yeah. Yeah, you need to add a kilo to the bar, but you, she wants to she wants to feel like it's a new lift. What I think is though, Cheryl, is that I think it's going to be more than 34. Is a good lift, I think, and it will be. And there's a lot of movement where there seems like a lot of time, like you mentioned, Cheryl, but she's very disciplined and consistent about it, how she goes about it. It's very methodical. So one hand, one hand. You know, it, it happens the same way every attempt. And that was good. Right, and it is important for uh, the lifter to maintain those routines which, by the way, now moves her into third overall with the 237 kilo total. And first in the clean and jerk with Fuentes on the bar. Taking the same 134, it will not move her ahead of Kachenke in the clean and jerk, but it will move her ahead in total. Oh. oh. No lift. That means 236 will close out Fuentes Zavala's day. And if Pereira takes it, she's going to give. No, here's the change. So Jenny Arthur is currently six kilos behind Dahomez, which means she has to out clean and jerk her by seven kilos to win. So I don't know that they're gonna be that aggressive and what they're gonna do is probably make a play for the bronze, which 134 situates them to do and that's exactly what's happening. So Jenny Arthur, 134 kilos, third attempt, a huge spot in this meet if Jenny Arthur puts this away. She's one missed attempt, or excuse me, yeah, one missed attempt away from, from possibly holding on for third. Time to dig deep. This is her last lift. She's got to figure out that jerk right now. Strong! All right, so no lift there. She'll be credited with her opening attempt, 130 kilos. Three for six on the day, 234 kilo total. And now Lydia Valentin. And that jerk, that jerk is a very elusive thing. Um, you'll notice amongst jerkers, you're either nailing it, and some people are having a, a lot of trouble with it. It's a very, very technical movement. And oftentimes does not come down to strength at all. No, it's just, it's put it in the right spot. All right, so now Lydia Valentin, second attempt, 135 kilos. Hey! So we'll move her to 253 kilo total and likely out of reach. 
if she's not or out of reach already. Good lift for Lydia Valentin. Locked it right down. That's a great, great attempt. So strong. So what's a pleasure to see right now is that we've got Dahomes locked into a medal. Valentin locked into a medal. Kachanke locked into a medal. All on third attempts. Between the three of them, they are just one missed attempt so far. So here is Nacy de Homes, 135 kilos. This will strengthen her position in second overall and move her into second in the clean and jerk. So now, with that, she will finish the day with a 240 kilo total. What's her best clean and jerk in total? I'll tell you in a second, but I wanted to check on something, and that was what Kachanke needs to move ahead of Dahomes, and that is 135. And 138, excuse me, and Kachanke has made that move. And your question, Sean, is what was Dahomey's best ever? Yes. Total and clean and jerk. 35 and 242. Okay. She's done 242 twice. All right. Now 138 kilos will move Gael Kachanke to second place in the total will lock out a silver medal and it will guarantee her at least a silver medal in the clean and jerk some big left right here so this is to color up That's where that air time gets you. Right, right. At some point, you can't pull the barbell higher, and uh, it's going to beat you back down to the floor. Exactly. So that means Lydia Valentin is guaranteed triple gold in this competition. She does not have to take a third attempt, but it looks like she's going to. Why not? Why not? Although, my favorite thing to do was to pass on a third attempt. <laughs> yeah. a jerk. I tell you that right now. And well, unless it personally meant something, I was like, nah, coach, I'm good. I, I hate to tell you, but there's not that many people that can relate to that. <laughs> no, <I know. laughs> well, we all could pass, but, you know, from eighth to tenth oh, place. You could, yeah. yeah, you could pass all your thirds if you want. <laughs> all right, so we are down to our final lift of the day, the final lift of this session. And it belongs to Lydia Valentin, 140 kilos. If successful, she will close out a perfect six for six performance en route to her first ever world championship title.
the world champion. All right. Add that to an already full resume. Not much else you can say. No. That's a great, that's a great performance there. Congratulations, Lydia Valentin. You are the 2017 world champion. Give, it, give a shout out to my friend Kara Head Slaughter, who's watching a wonderful 75 kilo lifter in her own right and a 2000 Olympian. Yes. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this was her weight class for many years. So we're taking another look at our winners here. Dahomez was terrific. Silver medal in the total, five for six on the day, 240 kilos, and, and still a junior, still another year of eligibility <laughs> as a junior. And it's almost unbelievable to think about. And, and Gael, Mayo, Kachanke. She's got to be happy. Yeah. She just, look at her. I, I love it. I love it. There is no better feeling, gentlemen, than to be finished with the competition, <laughs> especially when it's gone well. Well, she is not finished yet. She's going to have to come up on this stage and accept her medals. And Lydia Valentin, not a shock. Not a shock. But still an absolute joy to watch. And, and I think it did come down to those we see on the scoreboard, those lifters who are able to make the lifts. Um, we got some yes. six for six performances. Yes. We got some five for six performances. Those lifters who made the lifts are on the top of the podium. Yeah, your winner was six for six. Your silver medalist was five for six. And your bronze medalist was four for six. And this got, you know, interesting here in the clean and jerk and not a whole lot of separation from this field. And there was some drama. There were some huge uh, moments and, and some very important lifts. You hate it when the referees become part of the discussion, or at least when the jury and referees become part of the discussion, but in this case, they did. I don't think it affected the outcome per se, and we're taking a look at our overall combined total in this class, and, you know, this was Lydia, per Lydia Valentin and the field. No other way to put it. It was.